Hi everyone. Okay, so today I've been wanting to do this video literally since I started YouTube because I swear every single day at least like 50 people, maybe not 50, like 20 comment on my videos. Oh my God, you look like this person. Oh my God, you look like that person. Like the majority of my comments is I look like someone other than who I am. And honestly, most of the time I don't see it, but a couple of them I'm like, oh. So on this particular day, I will be turning myself into Madison Beer. Everyone says I look like Madison Beer, which is honestly like, thank you, Langa. It's like the biggest compliment I've ever received. But she's like the Chanel version, I'm like the Walmart version. I am using this photo for like inspiration. And I've never worn contacts, but I bought eye contacts and I'm really scared. Talking about eyes. By the way, um, I went to the hospital. Okay, if you watched my last video, my vlog, you would know that I was having some issues with my eyes, with my optic nerve. And the next day I actually went to the hospital and I went to the emergency room and they call you in by urgency and they called me in like seconds after I got there. So I'm like, oh my God, like I'm gonna go blind. Basically they did more tests, my vision, yes, still perfect. <laughs> and my doctor used a more high quality machine to look at my eye and um, oh my God, I had a panic attack. Like I full on started like bawling my eyes out because he was like, I'm going to use these eye drops and they're going to make your vision blurry and you're not going to be able to see properly. And I don't know why, but that just freaked me out. And I, I like started like crying and freaking out and he didn't tell me, but they stung. They didn't sting too bad, but he put them in and they stung my eyes. And I was like constantly crying, like waiting for them to kick in because I was like scared. I don't know why, like don't ask me. I couldn't tell you, but it made my pupils huge. Like I've never seen my pupils that big. So it was like a huge shock to me because I have quite dark eyes and like I've just never seen my pupils big like whenever I look they're like tiny and I was like oh my god I look like the devil but yeah turns out uh, it is calcium deposits and it might affect my peripheral vision however it will hardly affect the peripheral vision I didn't have like the typical characteristics for a person who would have brain fluid in their optic nerve but every year I have to go back and get a scan to see if there's more calcium buildup but yeah like that was the best day of my life receiving such good news. Like obviously calcium isn't the best, but it's better than brain fluid. <laughs> I'm going to get into putting these on. I've never put them on. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, the contacts are in their light brown. I honestly don't think they made that much of a difference. They look kind of the same in camera, but like in real life, they look different. But yeah, they do look the same color as hers in the picture. Okay, so now I'm going to get into my brows. Her brows, yeah, I think they're pretty similar to mine. Not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna fill them in that much, only a tiny bit. And her brows aren't like carved precisely. So I don't think I will even carve mine out with concealer because hers just look really natural and pushed up. This is the 24 hour brow setter and I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Is Pencil. I'm gonna move straight onto foundation because she doesn't really have anything going on her eyes. She is very tanned in the photo so I'm gonna put on a darker foundation. I think the main thing that I will need to do for her is the contouring. She has a bit of a different nose shape to mine. My nose is more like straight down and hers comes really thin and then like a circle at the end. I'm gonna put this over my brows a little bit. In the photo, she just looks more like warm tone than I look currently. I look a bit cool toned. And I'm gonna get my darkest foundation instead of my Born This Way Conceal in Dark, just so I can warm up the corners of my face for a bit more of a natural bronze. And I'm actually gonna put this here over my nose because that'll support the freckles a bit more and make them look a bit more natural. A lot of people ask if my freckles are real. Yes, under her eyes in the photo, it's not very like bright. So I'm just gonna get a natural concealer in the shade Custard, the NARS concealer. And I'm just going to blend this out a little bit. Right now I'm going to powder this with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm going to powder my whole face, but I'm going to pat it into my skin. Right now I'm just going to pat that in with a brush without any powder on it. This will just keep it a very kind of dewy, glowy look when I finish. I'm going to bronze with this, these particles that I have left of the Too Faced. Oh, and they all just fell out onto the floor. These in the Anastasia thing are kind of all very cool toned. And she's very warm toned. I'm just trying to like warm up my face a bit more. And her, her face is covered a lot by her hair in this particular photo. But like generally, she has very nice cheekbones. Right now, I'm going to contour the nose. I'm going to do it very precise. It kind of comes very in. And then it like goes out up here. 
Oh, oh my god, I look really weird. I might just bronze the sides more where the freckles will be. See, I feel like I just don't look like her. Now I'm going to do a little bit of blush. I'm just going to do a light pink from the Eggnog palette. I'm going to use this just a tiny bit. All right, now I'm going to move on to the eyes. So I'm going to get this brush and just the same bronzing color. I'm going to pull my eye up, but I'm just going to bronze and then extend out to like really give me that cat eye look. We have pretty similar eye shape. I think that's why we look similar, except hers are a bit more like so whoop. The brush I use for my nose, I'm going to do under the eye. I know it's different. Her eyebrows are more far apart than mine. That's a big difference. Her eyebrows are like, like that. So I might put concealer over the front of my brows so they're like gone. All right, so now I'm going to highlight with this thing that is broken. Whisper of Guilt. Ooh, extra dimension. In this particular photo, she doesn't look too highlighted. She does look highlighted on the top of her eyes and her nose. So that's what I'm going to focus on. She doesn't seem to have any highlight on the top of her lips. But I'm going to highlight my nose to the extreme. And I'm also going to grab this with my finger and put it on the top of the lids of my eyes. And that really brightens them up. And I'm going to just blend that with the brush I used previously. I'm using the Kylie Lip Liner in Exposed. And I'm going to line my lips how hers are. Her lips kind of come to a point up here. And then her bottom lip is very rounded. I feel like that's similar to her lips. Now I'm going to do the freckles. So I'm going to get my eyebrow pencil. And I'm going to get the warm tone brown that I was using for contouring here as my my base layer of freckles I'm just gonna like dot 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 all where hers are and hers kind of like extend underneath her face like on her cheeks I'm just gonna put it in she has quite a bit of freckles on the end of her nose so I'm also going to grab my brow whiz again and I'm going to just dot some in yeah so as I'm doing this I'm going to talk about what happened the other day so I went to my dad's house and he got a new cat and I've never been allergic to cats in my life like my dad has had many cats over the years but for some reason like one year he got this uh, little black cat and like ever since then I've just been like kind of allergic just quickly. I'm also going to grab the Balmain pencil just to define like up here so you can really tell it comes to a point. I'm going to be using the NARS mascara. I'm just going to be putting mascara on on the top and bottom lashes as I continue my story. And yeah, he recently got a new little black kitten and I went over and like I was trying to hug him and pat him and like I was fine. Like I got a little bit itchy but I didn't like freak out with a massive allergic reaction. And I got home and about maybe four hours later, literally four hours later I touched my eye and like my eye just was so itchy like I couldn't resist so I had this massive allergic reaction my eye has never been so puffy my mum put these like eye drops in my eye and for some reason when the eye drops go in they turn into gel I don't know why and it was like the most uncomfortable feeling and it was like sore and I was like screaming crying because it was like two days after my whole eye thing at the hospital and my eye like puffed up and I actually made like a TikTok and I kept it up for like three minutes and then I decided to delete it. Because it was just like embarrassing for my life and soul. That is so embarrassing for your life and your soul. Because I feel like I'm just not very good at making TikToks. Like I love watching them. Like they're so fun and funny. But they're just like hard for me to make. Also going to grab that warm tone and use that. Oh. Use that to just bronze up the face. Oh my god I kind of look like her. Oh my god I kind of look like her. <gasps> now I'm going to get rid of my eyebrows here. Because she does not have them there. Right, I'm going to grab this brush and a bit of foundation in Barcelona. I'm just going to cover my brows. I'm going to get the lighter concealer that I have in vanilla. There we go. That gets rid of them. No, I don't look like her. I just look weird. I just don't think it's it. No, I don't think I look like her. Oh no. I just did all of that for nothing. I genuinely can't tell if I look like her. Like it's really hard for me. Like, I feel like if I pose like that, I do. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, I do. Okay, I do. Okay, I do. Oh my god. Oh. I look like a... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself.
Okay, so that's my Madison Beer look. I'm gonna do other looks, but just not today. But basically, people say I look like Selena Gomez, Taylor Lautner, Madison Beer, obviously, Tammy Hembro, Brow. I don't know. I do not see that, but Claire Holt, Amanda Diaz. Mm. People say I look like everyone, but no, I actually don't. So, like, subscribe, follow me at Leah Holton. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.